Hey everybody, I want to make a quick video going over what I think might be one of the most broken items that came out with the Varlmore update, and honestly, it is not receiving the attention I think it deserves. Now, if you didn't know, you can actually catch butterflies and put them into butterfly jars and release them at will. Well, the new Moonlight Moths actually will restore your prayer when you release them. So I got a couple of these moths right here, and you see when I release them, I get actually 22 prayer points for letting it go. And this does also work in an AOE, a three by three around you. So if you have any teammates around you with accept eight on, it will also restore their prayer as well. This could be really good if you're doing like a group Iron Man and you're going to do like God Wars or something like that. You could really get a lot more prayer out of, uh, you know, an inventory slot. And I know what you're thinking. Okay, am I really going to carry around an entire jar of these one dose prayer pots? Well, we can actually make them a little bit better. You see, we can actually upgrade Moonlight Moth into Moonlight Moth Mix by using a pestle and mortar on one of the new raw uh, hunter meats that have been introduced with Varlmore as well. Any of them work, Kayak, Grok, Larupia, the antelopes or pyrefoxes, Personally, I use uh, raw dashing kebits. This is because they're the easiest to farm. If you go and grab a falcon, you could probably get like a whole inventory. Um, you can also use a meat pouch to really get a whole bunch and they respawn very, very fast. You'll be able to get a lot more dashing kebit meat compared to like the antelopes. If I use any of the meats on a uh, moonlight moth, it's actually gonna turn into a moonlight moth mix Two. And this is basically a two dose prayer potion that you can take with you. Unfortunately, you can't like decant it to make a four dose, but still, this is a two dose prayer potion that is incredibly easy to acquire and incredibly cheap right now on the Grand Exchange. Just to show you, I can drink it. I go up to 44. I drink it again. I go up to 66. Unfortunately, we do not have barbarian butterfly jars yet, so you will have to drop them once you're done with it. But yeah, I think these are a much cheaper option to prayer potions, and I personally am going to be getting a whole ton of them. I don't think I'm ever going to be flicking a slayer task again i'm just gonna be camping like piety and protection from melee even though in one inventory slot it's only about half as much as a regular prayer potion it is so much easier to get these especially if you're an iron and you don't have all the ranars or snapdragons in the world to make prayer potions and super restores okay so let's say you want to go and farm them yourself this is really easy to do just make sure you have a butterfly net and you're going to need level 75 hunter 85 hunter to catch them barehanded Usually in the Hunter's Guild, I'll just go and buy myself a whole inventory of butterfly jars and head downstairs into the burrow. This is the downstairs portion of the Hunter's Guild. In the southern portion of this is a whole bunch of Moonlight Moss, and you can just go ahead and start catching them. Personally, I really like this corner over here. There's actually like a spawn of three of them that you can kind of run uh, between really, really easily. So I just kind of keep running this kind of lap over and over again, just collecting more Moonlight Moths. And it really only takes me like a minute or two to get a full inventory of this. And again, every single one of these is like a dose of a prayer potion, two doses if I combine it with meat. You also get a lot of the raw meat just by doing, um, you know, assorted hunter rumors anyway. So if you're like me and you've been absolutely spamming hunter runers, I have like hundreds of raw meat in my bank anyways. And all of that can be converted um, into two dose prayer potions to use for all your other activities. Okay, so once your inventory is done, again, this only took me like two minutes, I'll typically go to a bank or if I need to restore run energy, I'll go to the Ferox Enclave or something like that. Deposit my inventory of Moonlight Moths. You can see I've gotten like over a hundred already. Um, drink from the Pool of Restoration, use the whistle to get back to the Hunter's Guild and head back to the store to begin the cycle again. There is also a bank in the Hunter's Guild you can use, but I've typically found it faster to just teleport out and uh, teleport back um, with the whistle. It does use charges, but honestly, it's just not a big deal for me. I don't mind uh, given how fast it is to get back here and keep getting more moths. Right now, these Moonlight Moth Mixes are selling for like basically nothing. I think you can get them for like just over a thousand gold. So it might be a really good time to go ahead and stock up because I have a feeling that this price is going to surge once people realize that this is just a super cheap alternative to prayer potions as long as you know inventory space isn't a massive issue obviously you're not going to be bringing this to like raids but there's a lot of bosses where inventory space doesn't matter as much and this is basically just easy cheap prayer for slayer task for example i think i'm just always going to be using these because you know why would i not and while moonlight moths are definitely the ones that stood out to me the most there are other butterflies that you can do the exact same thing with catch them in a jar and then release them later for a buff they can all be made into two dose mixes by using um one of the raw foods for example 
example, the Ruby Harvest mix, and these only take like level 15 Hunter to get, is basically a super attack potion, although you get one less level. Black Warlocks, which require Hunter level 45, act as a super strength potion, but again, you're getting one less level. Sapphire Glacialis are the super defense version. This requires Hunter level 25. Snowy Knights will heal you for eight hit points, and they only require Hunter level 35. And the new Sunlight Moth, which require level 65 Hunter, will also restore eight hit points, but they will also restore your stats just like a super restore would. It doesn't also restore prayer that is exclusive to the moonlight moths. But like, hey, if you needed some sunlight moths, maybe you're doing like desert treasure and you want to get a super restore. It's not that hard to grind out 65 hunter. So this could be a decent option. I really like the idea of getting some early hunters. So you have super attacks and super strengths going uh, while you're doing, you know, your early slayer training, or maybe you're just, you know, fighting some crabs and now you can get some early super strength potions. Anyways, that's it for this video. Nice and short. Go grind some moonlight moths, but please don't go to my world because I'm going to be grinding these all night. Okay. And I don't want any competition. Thanks guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.